In this video, we're talking about how to juggle a soccer ball. I wanted to do a really good tutorial. And this is for beginners, but also if you're an advanced player, I got a couple tips that are really gonna help you and some other things I want you to try to improve your ball control and just continually keep progressing and keep challenging yourself. Okay, so before we get into it, I wanna say it doesn't matter how many times you can juggle the ball if you can't be effective in the game. So yes, there are tons of people out there teaching you how to juggle and how to do crazy juggling tricks, but really that stuff doesn't matter. Honestly, I know tons of players who can do tons of crazy juggling tricks, but when they get on the field, they can't do anything. They're not effective. Okay, so saying that, I still think juggling is very important. Why? Because it's gonna improve your ball control. It's gonna give you more confidence on the ball. It's gonna allow you to manipulate the ball in other ways. And if you can add all these other things that I talk about on my channel, then yes, juggling is important. Juggling is effective and juggling will make you a better player with more skill and more confidence. Okay, so first of all, for beginners and for advanced players, your goal I want your goal to be to get to 500 juggles. Left, right, left, right, left, right, okay? When you can get to 500 successful juggles, then you can move into more advanced stuff, okay? But to start, for the beginner, and if you think you're a beginner but you can't get to 500 juggles, then obviously you're not there. If you can get to 100, you can get to 500. It's just about focus. Somewhere along the line, you lose your focus, okay? But let's take a closer look at this basic juggling technique. Take a look at my juggling. Again, I think it's very important that you're always trying from the very beginning, right, left, right, left, right, left. Build that confidence in your weak of foot, whether it's your right or your left. Problem is most players spend the first like five years of their life just juggling with their strong foot. And then they try to use their left and they can't handle it, okay? If in the beginning you can't do right, left, at least try. Maybe you have a couple on your right and then one on your left. Okay, but get that weak foot in there. Okay, but let's talk basic, let's really break it down. Because what you wanna do is create backspin on the ball so it comes towards you, okay? If you don't have backspin, it's gonna go out here. Or if you have a side spin, it's gonna go out here. Okay, so in order to create backspin on the ball, see that spin on the ball? Backspin on the ball. I'm hitting the ball with curled toes, like this, curled toes, on the bottom of the ball, like cupping the ball almost, like here, boom. Okay, and what that does is it creates backspin on the ball. Okay, so I'm trying to get that backspin every time. And just watch your ball. Does it have backspin? Does it have backspin? Does it, does it have backspin? Okay, and you want to get into that nice rhythm. So a lot of us out there, we're hitting it, and then we're reacting. You got to anticipate where the ball is going to be. I know it's going to come to my left, to my right, okay? And it's doom, 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 doom. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Nice rhythm, okay? So don't react to the ball, anticipate where it's gonna go. Right, left, good juggling. Remember, curled toes, creating backspin on the ball, especially on your weaker foot, it's gonna feel awkward. Okay, but curl those toes, that backspin on the ball, okay? So backspin, whoop. and then that's another important point. Sometimes I'm gonna have a bad touch. Sometimes my touch isn't gonna be the best. If it goes over here, I'm not gonna give up on it and grab it and come back again. Wherever it goes, react to it, okay? Get there quick. Get there and try to get it under control. Don't give up on it. That's what I'm trying to say. Do not give up on it. Wherever it goes, get there quick and react. But I really wanna break it down here. So to start, if you're a real beginner and you wanna get that backspin, all you might wanna do is start with a kick and a catch, okay? Kick and a catch. Or drop it to your foot, kick and catch. Do this a hundred times, getting backspin every time. Backspin, trying to get that nice natural kick, backspin, kick with backspin. Okay, nice natural, flowing, kicking leg. I'm not like this. Kick, 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 okay? So you might want to start like that. A hundred with your right, a hundred with your left. Backspin on the wall. If that's easy enough, then you can move to right, left, catch. Left, right, catch. Right, left, catch. Left, right catch getting that rhythm getting that backspin on the t every time and just getting these touches okay the more touches you get on the ball the better look at my upper body I'm just relaxed I'm not tense I'm not flexed okay I'm just nice and relaxed some kids are like this okay just nice and relaxed kicking the ball if you're hitting the ball and it's not getting off your foot if it's just dying down here you're not hitting it hard enough hit it a bit harder 
Personally, I think you want about knee height with your juggles, but if it's not coming high enough, you're not hitting it hard enough, especially on your weaker foot. If your weaker foot's like this, you're not hitting it hard enough. Lock your ankle more, curl your toes more, try to get good backspin on the ball. Okay, if the ball's going too high, you're hitting it too hard. So soften that touch up a bit, nice and delicate. All right, but this is basic juggling technique, and this is what I want you to do, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Switching feet every time, good backspin on the wall, nice relaxed upper body, curled toes, bent knees, good rhythm. Good rhythm, anticipate where the ball is gonna go, don't react. And if the ball does go somewhere crazy, you just get there, get there quick, do not give up on it. Okay, try to keep it up, use different parts of your body if you have to. Keep that ball up, do not give up on it. Okay, but this is normal juggling, basic juggling, that's where I want you to start. This is what I want you to do until you can get 500 consecutive juggles. So once you get those 500 consecutive juggles, what do you do next? How do you keep challenging yourself? Well, I think it's very important. And even if you are still working to get 500, you can do these types of drills to improve your ball control. But I want you to become comfortable using different parts of your foot. Most players will just do this for the first 10 years of their development, okay? If you can learn to use different parts of the foot, a little hacky sack style, okay? This is gonna develop good touch or different parts of the body, thighs, head, okay? But being a little more um, directional with your control. So sometimes it's here, sometimes it's up. Okay, always switching it up. And again, wherever the ball goes, you just adjust and you get to it. Okay, so once you uh, become comfortable with the basic juggling, left, right, with curled toes, good backspin, then you can move into that stuff, using the inside, using the outside, thighs, head, shoulder, whatever it is. Okay, also you can do mini touches. So I used to have a coach that made us do this. And at the time we all thought it was ridiculous, but it's fantastic for your touch. Develops great delicate touch, okay? Especially both feet, especially your weaker foot, whatever that may be. I don't have a weak foot, I have two strong feet because I've always used both feet. So from the very beginning. And let's talk about that a bit, improving your weaker foot, juggling. It's fantastic for that. Even if you're starting with as basic, just getting contact, getting good backspin, okay? That's where you're gonna improve that weaker foot a lot, is juggling with that weaker foot. Okay, and eventually you have two strong feet. Whenever the ball comes to you, right, left, you control it, shoot, right, left, no problem, because you've done it all from the very beginning. Okay, so like I said, advanced stuff, you can do the little touches. And you can also do high touches, which are a lot tougher. Okay, so like a head height control. Ooh. And if you have a bad touch, you don't get frustrated, you just analyze. You come back and you try again, okay? So let's talk about that before I leave. And that is your mentality. A lot of players will be trying these things and they can't do it, so they get frustrated. They'll blast the ball away or they get upset with themselves. They'll start being really negative, okay? You don't wanna do that. What you wanna do instead of getting frustrated is just analyze what's going wrong, okay? So if I'm trying to juggle, And for some reason, the ball always goes over here. I can get upset with myself, I can be pissed off, I can blast this ball over there, I can swear, I can say this is stupid, but that's not gonna make me any better. Instead, I can analyze. Okay, I'm always hitting the ball too much on this side. That's why it's creating that spin, that's why it's always going there. So instead, I'm gonna correct it. I'm gonna try to come on this side of the ball and see what happens, okay? So instead of getting frustrated, just take a deep breath, analyze what you're doing wrong, and then improve it and change it. Keep working, keep working, keep practicing, and I guarantee you're going to improve. All right, like I said in the beginning, your goal is to get to 500 basic juggles, which is left, right, left, right. Once you've done that, you can advance to the more challenging skills to continually improve your ball control. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to comment below and I want you to say, my record is this, and I'm gonna get to 500 in this many days or this many weeks. I guarantee if you approach your juggling with that positive mindset, 
okay, if I make a mistake, I'm just gonna fix it. I'm just going to analyze it rather than getting frustrated and I'm just gonna practice and practice and practice and I'm gonna use the tips in this video. You will improve faster with your juggling than you ever have in the past, okay? It all comes down to that positive mindset. If you make a mistake and you get pissed off with yourself, you're not gonna get any better. If you make a mistake, it's okay to be pissed off in the moment, but right after that, take a deep breath and look at what you did wrong. Do not make the same mistakes twice. Do not make the same mistakes again and again and again, which is what most players do. And I'm not talking just about juggling, I'm talking about every area of your game. Try not to make the same mistakes twice. Every time you make a mistake, use that mistake as valuable information to make you a better player. I guarantee if you do that, you will become better. Please like and comment below. Like I said, please share this video on social media if it helped you and you wanna help other players. And thank you for watching this video on how to juggle a soccer ball. Talk to you soon.